Hey guys, welcome to another video for the Pocophone F1 and once again there has been an update for Oxygen OS. We're going to talk about how to install it and we will have a first look at the initial impressions. It's more or less the same but things have gotten easier to install, the build has gotten better and that is what I like these guys for. Oof Gang is amazing, they are keeping the Poco F1 alive so let's get right into it. But before we do all of that, if you haven't already, please subscribe and hit the notification bell icon so that you get notified every time I upload a video. Mind you, we have more than 75% people who have not subscribed and watching our videos. So it's a humble request. Please do subscribe because it really, really helps us and it doesn't cost you anything. Apart from this, in the description of this video, you will find a link to our Telegram community where we have more than a thousand members helping each other. Join us there and enjoy the fun. Last but not the least, if you think the hard work is worth the effort, please click on the join button and support the channel. Now without further ado, hello awesome people, welcome to Phone Ops. My name is Kailash, let's get going. Alright, so what do we have here? It says new iterative update to NGGYU US Independence Day special. Change logs added a bit more leeway so that Tmod error occurs less frequently. But if you still face it, use ADB to push recovery and ROM to internal storage, right? On popular demand, added native Dolby to sound settings and added Atmos app and tuned sound for Popo. I think what they mean is Poco. Fix some UI glitches on status bar paddings. Refer the screenshot. Volume panel UI redone. Check screenshot experience yourself. It does say changing DPI from dev options can cause the live captions button to get crippled. So ignore. Safety net is fixed by default. Don't need to flash any zip. Hopefully works fine for all now. Google feed added by default. Now, if you know me well, Google feed is a big deal for me. So that is there. Some under the hood miscellaneous changes. The download links are the same. The process to flash is the same, but we're going to follow a easier method to flash. So basically what we're going to do is we are just going to need the recovery file and the ROM file and nothing else. We already have orange Fox recovery. So we will do a format data and then we will flash the V8 recovery, then we will wipe everything, we will flash the firmware and we will flash the ROM. So that's three files in total that you need. Now right now we are on MIUI 11.0.9 stable, so let's go ahead and begin the flashing process. Now as always, make sure you have more than 50% battery, make sure all your data is backed up, make sure you have removed your MI account, your Google account, screen lock, fingerprint, face unlock, everything. All right, so to do that, what we're going to do is press and hold volume up and power Keep it pressed till the time you see the POCO logo. All right, now as you can see, we are booting into Orange Fox Recovery right now. Okay, so the first thing that we will do is we'll go to wipe and we will do a format data. Type in yes. All right, then reboot to recovery. So menu option, reboot and select recovery. Now this time when it boots into recovery, we will be flashing TWRP recovery version 8 by Oof Gang, which is there on this pen drive that we have connected to the phone. All right, so select USB OTG F1 TWRP V8 by Oof Gang. Select this and swipe to confirm flash. Now it will automatically reboot into TWRP version 8 after which we will be wiping everything including the firmware and internal storage and we will be flashing the build and hopefully we will not have any error because they've made it more relaxed and they've made it more easier to flash and install this particular ROM. Alright now it is booting to TWRP version 8 and we are here. So wipe, advanced wipe. Delvic cache system vendor data and internal storage. Let's wipe everything. Don't wipe USB OTG because that is where our files are. Now go to install, select storage, select the USB OTG. For us it is in F1 and first we'll need firmware, add more zips and the ROM wait for it to complete the flash all right just like that the installation has completed and as you can see we did not get any error right 
so they have made the installation even better now this is one of the main reasons why i went ahead and made this video again so this is not an install only video we're going to now have a look at the build because there are some changes so let's reboot system now the first boot will take anywhere between two to three minutes so please be patient while that happens as you can see now we have the boot logo so let's wait for the first boot to complete just like that we are on the setup screen so let's quickly skip the setup all right, so as you can see, we are now on the home screen and to the left immediately, the first thing that you see is the Google feed. And as always, this build is super smooth. Although this is a 60 Hertz panel, it really, really feels great. It really, really feels special how smooth this is. Now, as I mentioned earlier, it does have Dolby, which is included and it works absolutely fine. I did flash it earlier and it is very, very surprising that on the first boot itself, this is, you know, running this smooth. Moving on, if you actually go to settings and see stuff over here, that is also pretty smooth. So basically this particular update has improved your user experience by leaps and bounds because initially to flash this particular ROM you would have a ton of issues because it was very very strict to avoid a lot of things but now they made it more lenient more easier and this guide is much more easier and trust me guys this oxygen os version is amazing it works great i've tested in gaming as well you can go ahead and check that live stream out so let me know in the comment section what do you think about this video until the next one this is kalash signing off at phone ops keep smiling take care goodbye